Anyway, lots on the show this morning, including campaigners hit out at police documentary, kids at risk through social worker shortage, and is it ever acceptable to refer to someone as a bit of skirt? Justin Daly doesn't see a problem, do you? 08459 Across beds, hearts and bucks. This is BBC Three Counties Radio. Uh, right. Uh, 08459 four double five five double five is the telephone number. The campaign group Justice for Leon is furious about the decision to film a documentary at Luton Police Station. 39-year-old Leon Briggs died in hospital last November, hours after being taken into custody. His family and friends are still waiting to find out what happened. Well, joining me now is Michael Doherty, the director of the accountability campaign Justice for Now. Morning, Michael. Morning, Ian. Uh, you're you? also involved in the Justice for Leon campaign. What are your objections to this documentary? Well, I think there's. I think you've already heard that the, there's been a sort of uh, dialogue with the council, with the uh, campaign group, and various other the, the cohesion group in Luton, who've all expressed real concerns that this is this program's going to be aired at this time and um, it seems it's fallen on deaf ears. Colette Paul, the Chief Constable, or Chief Constable of Bedfordshire said that she's listened to the concerns but that seems all she's done. She hasn't acted on those concerns. So, so you're, the, 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 wor- the sole worry is that it's going to be screened near the anniversary of Mr Briggs' death? Well, I think there's a real, real concern out there that this is just some sort of PR puff piece. Um, Bedfordshire Police, in particular Luton, is under some serious scrutiny at the moment. Um, you've had, there's a current trial going on in relation to the Atty Galley case. There's uh, obviously the death in custody of Leon Briggs. You've had the Deputy uh, Police and Crime Commissioner resign recently and an investigation into the Police and Crime Commissioner. So I think there's a real confidence crisis in the area in terms of policing. And it seems that this is a very well positioned PR piece. Um, well, you, you, you'll be delighted to see that it's backfiring then, won't you, as it is in the papers I, today? I, I was, I was going to say, I mean, you know, Colette Pauls um, publicly said she supports the uh, video in of her, internal of her pol- our police um, in the area and that it was a high-risk strategy. And I, I, I would question the judgment of any chief constable who's taking high-risk strategies in this area. And I agree with you. You know, the things that you've put out on air this morning about the sort of mis- misogynistic views of some of the police officers in there about talking about women as bits of skirt um, I think it does look like it's going to backfire. But, but with your, your, your two complaints then, Michael, with the greatest respect, that, that they have no, no weight. I mean, Colette Paul has said that this won't be screened uh, on the anniversary of Mr Briggs's death, so that's, that's, that's that one covered. Uh, and, and if you're worried it's going to be a puff piece, it, well it looks like it isn't, so well, which, surely you've got no concerns well, then. Absolutely, I mean, absolutely and I'm going to be obviously watching it myself and I think that in this sort of day and age um, with social media, it's very difficult for the truth not to get out. And I think this is going to be quite interesting on social media to be following on Twitter, etc., on how this is actually being really received by the public. I, I just don't think it should go ahead. We've got, as you're well aware, a campaign called Leon's Law. Where we're asking for police officers in the area to wear body-worn cameras in all inter- interactions with the police. Now, as a campaign group, this is a, this is a, a campaign that we developed, It was fully endorsed by the local democracy, by all councillors, unanimously. So we've got one hand, uh, the Chief Constable of Bedfordshire, not supporting Leon's Law, where there's real coverage of her police officers out and about, which protects both them and the public. So are the local police not wearing... I thought they were wearing body cameras. They are wearing them, but the, the, the issue there is it's in some respects meaningless because the discretion for the police officer to switch it on and switch it off rests with that individual police officer. They talk about privacy issues. But then, if I would have again, I would have thought you 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 would have been happy that they are, but the police are being followed around or have been followed around by a film crew, uh, and the uh, Colette Paul and the other members of the police service have no editorial control. Well, I I I disagree with that. I mean, I think it's people's behaviour. I'm sure you would agree. Once a camera's put on them, will change considerably. But you but you want them to have cameras on them. Absolutely, and if and if you look at the. Um, so, but, so they've got cameras on them. So, so you, you want them to have cameras on them, and your, your concern is their behaviour will change. Well, in, in, in the Rialto study in California saw, uh, I think it was an 80% drop in police complaints once video cameras were used in a situation when they were on all the time. When they're switched on and off, 
at the officer's discretion, clearly that's not going to happen. No, but th- but they've got th- that's that's them uh, having uh, carrying tiny cameras on them. But but I can't understand why you're upset that they're being followed around by a film crew that is separate from the police service that will have their own agenda. Uh, the police service has no editorial control over this, and as we've already seen, episode one, which goes out tonight, that there are things coming out that I'm sure Colette Paul would rather didn't well, come out. I mean, in terms of coming out talking about a bit of skirt and stuff like that, it's hardly the same as. For example, um, someone being beaten up in custody. I don't think things like that are going to go on on camera in front of Channel 4. Well, no, it's not. But, that, that again, that's no reason to dismiss the Channel 4 documentary because you're not going to see someone beaten up in a police cell. Right. You're still but, going to see things that we don't normally see. We, we are going to see things that we're not going to normally see. I would agree. And I'm, go- I'm, I'm certainly going to be watching it myself. And I'm certainly going to be commenting on the, on the, the programme. I certainly believe it will backfire on, on, on Luton, on Bedfordshire Police, this high-risk strategy. Um, but I don't think you're going to see the real picture, Ian. I don't think... Well, of course not. It's a television programme. Of course. You, and, and in terms of editorial control, there's uh, uh, this, this clear suggestion that there is absolutely no editorial control. That's plainly wrong. No, not absolutely. No, uh, the, the, it says here, and we'll, we'll put these to collect, Paul. The force wave, this is from the Daily Mail, the force waived any control over content except in two cases because of family and editorial reasons. Right, and there's obviously a legal agreement drawn up, which the public haven't seen between for those for those two for those uh, oh. for those two cases. Well, I mean, I you know for legal I, reasons, they're, 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 and we'll put this to Colette Paul, but yeah. I would imagine legal reasons you can't. There are some they're, things they're, you can't talk about on the telly. There's a program that made the um, was it the the A and E coverage. They did the um, One Born Every Minute, which is obviously a very successful program. Um, seemed very you know good, well received by the public. And I guess we'll have to wait and see. And when you talk about the anniversary of uh, Leon Briggs' death in, in November the 4th, I mean, this airs the night before. Um, is, it, is it a 20 series program that they're running now yeah. on, on Luton? So, you know, it, 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 the timing's very close. The, I, I think it was said last night by one of the campaign members that I bet they don't show the vigils outside Luton Police Station. Um, Leon Briggs doesn't get, I, I, as far as I'm aware, and again, we haven't seen it, we won't to see, I, 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 we have been, it's been stated that there is no mention of Leon Briggs in I mean, the that, series. Yeah, absolutely, and, uh, and I think, you know, things like the, the vigil outside the police station, which is clearly a very um, local, you know, uh, highly known about um, matter, you would have thought that that would be. So but, like, uh, but hang on, it, 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 Michael, you're kind of, uh, with the greatest oh. of respect, you're sort of flipping and flopping a little bit. You're saying you, you don't want the series to go ahead because it'd be a puff piece, and then you admit that some stuff has already come out that actually is quite negative towards oh. the police. You're saying it's disrespectful to, to Leon Briggs to have it being yeah. shown the day before, but yet you're upset that there won't be any mention are, of him are, in it. It's, are, it's a, it's a, it's a, is it... Michael, yeah, is it, the, is it just, are. let me just put this to you, is it just that you you have beef with Luton Police, rightly or wrongly, and that you won't be happy whatever they do? Ian, we are where we are. Colette Paul has obviously made an executive decision to carry on with the programme, irrespective of the views of the community, which have been very well expressed to her. So we are to certain, we are. To, with respect of, of the views of certain members of the community. If the piece is, well, I don't know, I mean, if you're, if you're democratically elected councillors who sat on the uh, community cohesion group also vote unanimously that this shouldn't go ahead. It would be inappropriate. I don't know. Do you not think they reflect views of the local public? Uh, it was agreed to be filmed months before Leon's death, wasn't it? Again, so so it's said. Well, it, it, it was agreed to do this documentary months before Leon's death. Yeah, it's, it, it is said. Yes, we're well we're well aware of. Look, if you, if you look, at you don't the, believe uh, that. The internet's awash with with video of police officers behaving in high. Yeah, the internet, w- w- Michael, with the great, the internet's awash with videos of UFOs. You know, it's it, 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 uh, you can't really back everything on what you've seen on the internet. In it, well, let's let's take for example the Ian Tomlinson case in London. Well, no, let's let's, let's 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 no, Michael, let's Michael, important. Michael, let's no, it's, it's not it's important, important, important because it's a case that I don't particularly know about, and we are speaking specifically about Luton Police. The world knows. The world knows about a video taken of a police officer battering Michael, an individual. Michael, no, no, I'm not going to let you finish because it, it, it is irrelevant to this it's irrelevant okay. to this documentary that's I, I taking place video of what police officers some police officers okay. are actually doing on and the obviously street. you're not going to see that in a channel 4 documentary about the police but no, I, I put it to you again that you, you you have beef with Luton police rightly or wrongly uh, and that whatever they do you won't be happy my with issue, Ian, my issue rests, rests with accountability okay accountability of policing if the police were actually serious about um, having a firm established system of accountability, then 
that's that's all all great. But you're not going to establish accountability by sticking in a TV no. uh, crew to film what is effectively some sort of police soap. No, I don't. Th- and I, I, I don't right. think. Th- I don't think that they've said that this but is family, to make them accountable, is it? But a family in the Luton area who have lost a son in Luton custody, who's died in Luton custody. An investigation is ongoing, later, isn't it? Who one year later have no answers. But that is that not separate? I mean, the horrible. investigation is. Of course, it's horrible. And we've we've spoken to to many of the campaigners, and it's it's terribly tragic. It's terribly sad. But um, I don't, I'm not sure I quite see the connection between that well, and between this t- this television series. Well, Colette Paul says, you know, would that the public have a right to know what goes on behind closed doors in Luton Police Station? I fully agree with that. But I don't think that we're going to we're, we're the public going to actually find out what goes on behind Luton Luton the closed doors of Luton Police Station in this documentary. I'm sure you would agree that when you put the TV crew in, this is very overt filming of them, their behaviour will change, of course. It's not going to be exactly what you uh, would happen on a day-to-day basis. The film, the TV crews have gone now, they'll be back to exactly how they were. I accept that there are some issues, for example, the bit of skirt comment that's come out now, but they're hardly they're hardly at the same level. Well, Michael, we listen. We have to end it there. In, in fairness, I'm doing what I never like doing. I'm talking about a TV show that I ain't seen, uh, and I I always struggle around that. And I, I, it's one of the things I try and avoid, Catherine. I try right. not to talk about a TV show I haven't seen. No, and I get that too. We'll be on to Channel Four, and it won't happen again. Well, fingers crossed. We'll, we'll, we'll see. Hopefully, I'm sure they'll send us out uh, some previews. Michael, thank you very much indeed. That's Michael Doherty, director of the Accountability Campaign Justice for Now. Your thoughts, please. Oh eight four five nine four double five five double five.